what uh, can get thrown towards them instead, right? They can diffuse that pressure. They can look to answer back. And they can be the ones in the front foot, right? A Shadow Surge in, a Tempered Fate. You've knocked somebody back with the, with the Poppy Hammer, and suddenly you are, you're now the ones being aggressive. And I feel like, for me, the most important thing now the draft. That easily. How about oh, will they? jungler, though? Here comes Voltron. The pillar goes down. I'm looking to try and land exhaust. up that one as they look to try and turn their attention onto Orn now, who does have that exhaust as you highlight. Going to try and dash out of that one. Exhaust comes across. He's exhausted the clone, and that is first blood for Diablos. Yeah, a flash of sleep right in. And you can't last hit as the Zeri without an auto attack and the Q proc on all of the ranged minions. You'll be fine with the melees. But this pressure is relentless. If they see this recall confirmed by Foreigner, they'll have no wave. Foreigner actually stays. Yeah, Binding connects oh, Dante. onto Dante. They will oh. trade it again. Oh no, Phonus has flashed into action. He wants that kill. The Graviton's still there again. That is a disaster. Another exhaust. And it's a going on to Wukong here, but he just walks away. Yeah, that. Especially with the dive threat now available. If Zoranus is finger on the trigger, he can flash react to Foreigner. Here we'll it see is. how he goes. He's been caught under that. And that is just picture perfect there from Foreigner. Hex flash working its magic. There's a. Okay, how many control ones does it take? <laughs> to, to control the river. <laughs> Are you having a... <laughs> what on earth, man? <laughs> so much money in the Drake pit. Okay. He's keen to go for this. Actually, we're going to get a replay oh, as to how these wards were planted. All right, okay. one get Oh, bang. That's teamwork. <laughs> that is synergy. This is a triple bang right there. <laughs> Comes out here. There's the Moonlight Vigil. Graviton locks him in place. Down goes the hero's entrance. Knocked up. Uh, really nothing. Just there to give Poltron a bit of mitigation. A whimsy onto the Orn. And, uh, well, I mean, ults and cooldowns have been utilized, oh, but nothing's happening. Fauna then jumps on in and looks for the knockback. On towards the Filios. Dante is just dead. Slicing Maelstrom. Tries to create space. Tries to zone back the aggressive the party, but they jump through their magical journey. Where are you going, Ben V? We'll use that as a tag team. Thank you for coming along for the rides. And now four wolves look to chase down a kangaroo. Ben V actually gets his best for them right now. And it seems to be that they are targeting these sidelines to get those first turrets as quickly as possible. A few more ultimates being burnt, and Zoranus just has those fancy feet. Dodged out the Tempered Fate this time. Dodging out the Call of the Forge God. Foreigners looking to knock him up with the very quick charge of the ultimate, and then they try and say, we need to use an exhaust. You're just too quick with that lightning rush. He turns it around with the slicing maelstrom. In comes Galio, but that mitigation shield was just not enough. Seaman's going to be a second Hold casualty, on. but he's going to buy time with that stopwatch. In goes Dante with the green and the red. Moonlight Vigil doing what it can, but he just doesn't have any items. He's still sitting on components waiting for that mythic. He's going to get caught by the Tempered Fate. He's already burnt the Flash Trusty. He is a sitting duck, and he is dead, much like Bulldog, who's cowering under his tower. The Relentless Rotted. Not going to get taunted. Poltron has to distort across the wall. There is another magical journey. Two pop through it. Three pop through it, actually. Poltron turns oh, around. The that's on. too easy. That's a Wombo Combo Cyclone Grand Entrance. Eat your heart out. Fona's going to try and knock back one, but Dante's found that shutdown. He has removed Vex, who burnt the flash, who hit the ignite, but just didn't have it in them. And now Diwals, with a one team fight, can also get their third Drake. Can good. Itemization power spikes as possible. Verdon Barrier now there as well for the Galio. Another tempered fate. That's big coming TP in. from the back line. Dante's in so much trouble. Instant Gale Force out of harm's way. Galio comes down, creates space, and divides the fight. Is that hammer going to be dropped? Who's it going to knock back? Absolutely no one. Poltron's been split. He's got a flash too. He's been exhausted. This time that is the real one. And that's the Shadow Surge to try and kill Sniper, but Lima's Does the one to pick reset. it up. He's got the reset. He's going to jump on in early onto one so far. Instant Wild Grove onto that Galio. Another exhaust. Far too many of them. Dante with the red and white. You just don't want to fight, especially if he can step up against you. Zoranus he doesn't have the summoners. He does still the flash. Has so if this fight continues, Zoranus now has seen both exhaust views. You would be putting yourself in the pit. Kanga don't want to bottleneck themselves, but Dio is still going. And that's the big thing for me, right? You do still have those flash. There it is! In with a slicing maelstrom. Locked them all down. That's three members. Paralyzed. They can't do much about that. Lemus going. Now, with the green and the blue, but Lemus says, watch this. It's a bit of a Zeri moment. AD carries trading out fights. In he goes the face check. What are you doing? You have no vision. You have no right. And Fauna can just barely survive. I mean, you're right. He has no right to face check that bush. He doesn't know what's awaiting him. They pick the easy to execute composition. They execute every single time. And it does look easy with how they handle Kanga. 
Big ult coming out consistently from Zonus. Maybe hasn't resulted in the kills, but you know who's been picking those ones up? There's no <laughs> way. There's no way. No way There's... in this world. You don't even want to hype it up. It's impossible. And then he just does it. No. Rusty. How? Bard gap. Dante, the real hero here for Diables. He's doing so much damage with three and a half items. Stopwatches there as well for both respective carries. Fido sees Zoranus. He's got his eye in. He certainly does. He's looking for the moment. Personal space on towards He's gone! One shot! No stopwatch, no chance to play oh, no, the game, big. Rusty. That is a massive ultimate. Locking down Poltron. He's out the fight. Has the Cyclone to survive. The Elder Dragon Leash has been transferred now to Kanga. They turn their attention onto Galio. The Drake resets. They've got the shutdown. They've got two massive kills. And this might be that pivotal moment where the game switches to Kanga. Fighter very close to having another kill, potentially. The reset's still there on the ultimate. He's going to use it. He finds Bulldog. He certainly has. And once again, one shot to the target. This time, cannot fight it onto Dante, who Gale forces away to safety. Look at Poltron. Can Poltron. he get in? Would he dare try? He I has think to. he would dare try. No. Oh. He tried his hardest. He really did. What's going? Potron's in. He's got the Cloud Soul. He's ready to rock and roll. He's been uh, feared for the meantime and is just one shot. Great temper pet in the backside of that one from Benvi. Trying to prevent the rest of the team. Lived with a massive wraparound. Fighter's it was a dead. big pinch on Dante, who's been exhausted right now. Gale forces out of that headbutt stun inside the wall. Lima is still on a double kill right now. Flashing forward aggressively. Lightning crash active. He's going to try is uh, damage heavy as possible. He's going to try and take a Dante, but Dante's kiting, running, praying, but gets shut down. Laser across the walls, not enough to try and hit him. His Bulldog's got the moves, but Rusty, I feel like this is game one. Dante goes mechanics max, but just can't do enough to get his team over the line. Kanga, just a little bit too strong with their relentless aggression in game one. That it certainly was, despite their woes in those early portions of the game. A clutch Baron still. Bit of inspiration to win it and Elder fight as well, and game one is theirs.